any time now, the U.S. government is expected to release its full account of the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Now, we still don't know exactly what's in the documents and whether there will be any bombshell revelations, but as WBZ's Christina Hager found, JFK enthusiasts and history buffs are eager to see what has been classified information. Stay tuned for updates. Kennedy historian Thomas Whalen among those repeatedly hitting refresh on the National Archives website. There's just going to be too many people wanting to see these documents, and I think the National Archives site won't be prepared for that. Something I repeat has happened in the motorcade route. If the idea of poring over more than 3,000 FBI and CIA files on the John F. Kennedy assassination investigation seems daunting, Whalen has some advice, three points. First, what you see may not be factual. Investigators documented countless rumors at the time. Second, the most interesting information will likely be buried and may even contain code words. And third, look for anything to do with Cuba or Lee Harvey Oswald's trip to Mexico City. Was uh, Oswald getting instructions? Was he getting material aid in carrying off this assassination? That could cause even today some international ramifications. 54 years after the JFK assassination, the conspiracy theories and the fascination seem to be as strong as ever as we found out here at the Kennedy Library today. And to think that there could be a controversy about his death, it's just, it would be devastating. In a way, it would be nice to know uh, and, and read more. But I think if it um, is going to create a lot of angst for many people, it might be very difficult. The promise of the sun finally shining on one of the most painful yet most obsessed over chapters in U.S. history. They don't have enough yet. In Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News.